show you how to fix sticking power windows. And often it can be as easy as spraying them with some silicone lubricant. Now when power windows go up and down, they ride on the back edge and also the front edge where this groove is where it goes up and down. So the first thing to do is to roll the window all the way down if you can and then liberally spray the spray silicone loop up and down inside. Now I know some people are going to say what a mess but as long as you wipe the silicone off within a few minutes it doesn't hurt anything. It actually will make the paint shine more and it's really good for doing the rubber trim and making it shiny again. It's only going to bother the paint if you spray it on the paint and leave it there to bake in the hot sun for hours and hours and hours then it can stain the paint a little but once you wipe it off immediately it doesn't hurt anything. Then spray a bunch in the front too. Let it soak down on the glass edge. Then you can run the window up and down and when it's back up you can spray some more and run that up and down a few times. Then wipe all the excess off again. And look how smooth it works now. And look how shiny it got the rubber molding on the door too. Compare it to the other side that I haven't done yet. See how dirty that is. And there's a reason we're using silicone spray lubricant. Because not only is it a good lubricant, but as it says here, it's water resistant. It can last a long time through rain. It won't just wash right off the first time it rains. And that's important because your windows, hey, they got a little gap in here. When it rains, lots of water runs through there. Now, if you've ever wondered what these little holes are on the bottom of your door that go inside, those are drain holes. They drain the water that gets inside the door and makes it come out here so the door doesn't fill up with water. So water is always flowing through your windows and if you don't use something like a silicone spray lube, any other kind of lube, the water will just wash it off the first time it rains and the windows will go back to sticking. Now you want to do all four power windows. You only need to do them maybe once every year or year and a half to keep the crud from building up and making them bind. And really, that's a small price to pay. If you let one of these window motor regulator assemblies go bad, they can cost three, four hundred bucks for new ones. Just by lubricating, not only will they work smoother, but it'll make the motor work less stronger and it'll last longer. So before your power windows start sticking and binding when you use them, you might try lubricating them with a little spray silicone and save yourself a lot of money in the long run. And remember, if you've got any car questions, just visit the Scotty Kilmer channel. And I'll answer them as soon as I get back from the Twilight Zone.